Ghost from the Past 2 is reprinting Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and Dark Magician Girl. What's up guys, we're back with another emergency news video. I hop on Twitter today, I noticed that this image is floating around Twitter. Rhyme Style posted about, I don't even know where it started honestly, but I see that this image is everywhere. 2022, Ghost from the Past, the second, what is this called? Haunting? The second Haunting, released date April 26, 2022. And here's the key, Ghost Rares, Dark Arm Dragon. Red Dragon Archfiend, Cyber Dragon, Blue Eyes White Dragon, and the Dark Magician Girl. Is this real? I'm not even sure if it's real, but it looks pretty official. This will be absolutely huge. We have five insane ghost rares here. I'm really hoping that this is the case. So if you guys are interested in ghosts from the past, if you guys remember, Dark Magician Girl was trolled last year. A lot of people bought it. Were disappointed when they didn't get it. So keep that in mind. I don't think this is an official Konami release statement or anything like that. But if you're interested and you maybe, you know, get a chance of getting these, you might want to pre-order now because the prices are going to get crazy. Let's talk about a few of these ghost rares. So first of all, Dark Magician Girl, everyone was so hyped about this last year. They spent crazy money on it, obviously, to get it, and then it didn't happen. So if it's actually in here this time, it's going to be awesome. Dark Magician Girl is super popular, so being a ghost rare is going to be crazy. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. Yeah, there's already been a Blue Eyes White Dragon ghost. Yeah, we know. But look at the art. That's Starter Deck Kaiba. That's like the OCG Starter Deck Kaiba ghost rare that was just absolutely beautiful. If this is the case and we get this Starter Deck art... It's going to be absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. That's going to be an absolutely huge chase card. Dark Magician was big. Blue Eyes is, is even bigger. And not only like last year where we got two awesome Ghost Rares, we had the Dark Magician, the Blue Eyes Alternative. We have three. We have Cyber Dragon, one of the most iconic GX cards. How can you not love a Ghost Rare Cyber Dragon? It's going to look incredible. Then we go on a Red Dragon Archfiend. Might seem a little weird, but if you go back to the Duelist Genesis, do you guys remember Red Dragon Archfiend never got a Ghost Rare? It got snubbed. It never got a Ghost Rare. It was just an ultimate rare in the Duelist Genesis. So all the other Signer Dragons were getting Ghost Rares. It never did. This is the time they're finally giving it to it. It's getting its Ghost Rare that it's been owed for many years. So that's actually really cool. Probably the least exciting one too. And it's still pretty cool. If you compare it with like the worst one last year, like Firewall Dragon or Crystal Wing. I mean, this one is way, way better. So like the, the lineup here is crazy. Then we have the Dark Arm Dragon. Obviously everyone knows that one. That's a huge fifth one. They did say there were going to be more Ghost Rares in this set. So I'm expecting that there will be more at some point. Maybe these are just the Collector's Rares ones. And there's going to be like maybe meta ones. Maybe they have like a Lightning Storm Ghost Rare or something. I'm expecting there to be more, more Ghost Rares if this is actually true could also be not true at all if that's the case it's gonna be a real bummer because i'm extremely excited about these five ghost rares like i don't even know if i could have picked five better ghost rares for one set normally they hold back and only put like a couple of good cards per set but man these ghost rares bang so if they actually put some really good meta you know staples as the other cards you can pull outside of the ghost rares this set is going to be crazy valuable so you want to get in and pre-order now but keep in mind, this is not an official Konami release from what I know. Either way, if these ghosts are the actual five ghosts that are in the set, the set's going to do well. It doesn't matter if the rest of the cards suck. Because last year, Ghosts from the Past, the cards were pretty bad. There wasn't much in there. I think the only card over $10 is evenly matched besides the Ghost Rares. So if they actually put something in here that's going to hold value besides the Ghost Rares, this set is going to be crazy. It's going to be absolutely insane. One of the best sets we've ever seen. 2021 is ending on an absolute banger with all these reprint sets just knocking out of the park. We've got Starlight Dragoon. We've got amazing reprints in the Battles of Brothers of Legends. Sorry and then other stuff like that. So they are doing so well. I'm really happy with Konami's doing. I had to make a video about this because I know everyone's hyped up about Ghosts from the Past too. And if this is true, you're going to be even more hyped. I don't know anybody who would be disappointed looking at these Ghost Rares. With that said, we're going to end the bonus video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the news update. Shout out to CCG Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Noah J, Hawaiian, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Duelist Kingdom Cards. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.